Hey, yo there. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. Hey, yo guys, Painted351 here, and I'm back with more Power Wash Simulator. I almost said Slime Rancher. Uh, I almost said Slime Rancher. There was some hesitation. <laughs> Yeah, Can you tell what I was streaming before this? <laughs> no. Crazy. Anyways, um, so we have the obstacle course to do, Kat. You excited? Yeah. You don't sound very excited. <laughs> I'm just that voice existing. crack didn't sound very excited either. Um <laughs> let's read this. Uh oh god. Oh wait, she's British. I can make you read this. Well, I can't see it, so I can't read it. That's why I'm gonna eat it in your DMs. Gosh. Well, then do it, Calvin. <laughs> Jesus! Like, give me a second! No. There you <laughs> go! Uh, being called a coward. Jeez. <laughs> okay. <coughs> <laughs> Gotta clear that throat. Stretch. Okay. Your work on the house was impressive, and I'm not easily impressed. I can almost see dear old Rose taking elevenses out on the western lawn. Winston was a butler, even way back then, apparently. Anyway, to the back of the mirror, you'll find my obstacle course, an invaluable training aid in periods of convalescence. And beyond it, my trusty quad bike. They've both suffered terribly over the years, and the obstacle course at the hands of the British weather, the quad bike at the hands of yours truly. I trust you like a challenge as much as I do. And that do good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Pug. <laughs> you scared that you still don't sound British there, cat? What? I said you scared you don't sound British enough there, cat? I don't want to sound like a southerner. <laughs> <laughs> for legal reasons, that's a joke. <laughs> oh, fair dues. oh shit. Hmm. Oh, I just accidentally started spraying. Bro, you haven't even invited me yet. I'm, I'm, it's because of me. I like to have back into the game and it immediately sprayed. It's me. It's oh. all Poppy Playtime. <laughs> Wait, oh, why, oh. Why are you saying the gravity? <laughs> the gravity. I'm here. Can you feel it? I'll have a look at the gravity in a sec. Oh, hello. Okay. Let me I don't feel as fast. See when you just walk. Are you are you faster than me? What the? F I'm sprinting. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I keep sprinting off, but I can't jump in time. Oh. Hey yo. Wah. Wah. Hey yo. Oh shit. Oh, you do actually have to do some of this obstacle course to get to certain objects. Oh. Fascinating. Oh, there's handprints. <laughs> can we climb this? Oh my god, we can! We can climb the roof Oh Hell yeah. Woo! Shit. I fell. Wait, there's things here, Kat. You're supposed to come back up this way. Oh. There we go. Woohoo! Oh. I don't know why, but I feel like my physics on this feel weird when you're not running. Is that just me? I don't know. Where is he supposed to go through 
Where are you supposed to go? Oh, you're supposed to like go up and up. Oh, <laughs> God. There we go. And then use your plane. <laughs> Which we can't do. Oh, here's the quad bike! Oh, there's text. Um, I'll wait for it to finish going up and then I'll send it to you. Read through. Jesus. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Wait. And you sprayed me too, I don't want to hear it. How will I entwine? Also, the gnome is somewhere, we haven't seen him yet. Yeah, but remember, the gnomes here look like weeping angels. Yeah. Alright, it's sent to you, Cat. Uh, what was okay. Okay. So, wait, I need to change topic. I think this is the I like how the whole quad bike isn't even 1%. Okay. We're also not <clears> done <throat> with the whole quad bike. Mm -hmm. An obstacle course may seem an eccentric choice for the grounds of an architect, archaeologist. Now, archaeologists like to sit around with some artifacts at the museum. Some of us like to dig a little deeper. Is the quad bike done? It does seem to be. Yeah, I said it's done. Yeah, we'll soon find out if we're Oh, we do have ladders and stuff. Sorry, I saw the Where door and I was Where like, is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Rock, 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 rock. I have an idea. I have an idea on where it might be. Up, up. That if I get up here, nope. uh, cat, this is not easy. Nope. How did you get up there? Up where? Where am I getting up to? The big, the big thing here. Oh. With power. Because my thought is, if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be somewhere you can see from here. I observe respectfully. Quick, get on my head. That tree on that mountain does not look okay. <laughs> <laughs> that tree looks really fucking weird. <laughs> First. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder. Nope. Okay. I don't know where it's at, Kat. You can go around looking no, for it. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go looking for it. Uh, I found it! Where is it at? Over here. Is it is it uh, is it late enough in the video to swear yet? Yeah, it's late enough in the video. I see you, you bastard. Where? Oh god, yeah, it. He there. He there. Hang on. Hang on. He's here. He's there. He's everywhere. Are you gonna call? I can friend Fred Bear. Creepy old London. <laughs>
So this we're now okay. on to the um, the shark book, right? No, uh, we're on to the last quote unquote canon book, uh, which is Prankster. Okay, here it then. Hmm. I have a few. I read it, but I can't remember the name for it because I'm a goober. It's fine. Why I made sure to tell you that you should make sure to have the book downloaded. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, got it. So we have Jeremiah, who's our main guy. Uh, we have Hope, and we have Parker. So here's the shtick. Jeremiah, uh, he works at a game company that has recently been bought by a bit Entertainment. Yeah, there's a bit over there. Oh, never mind, I got it. He works at Fazbear Entertainment, and he's helping Fazbear working on their new um, VR game. It's crazy. It's, it's a real big opportunity. Uh, Hope and Parker are his co-workers. Jeremiah has got a massive crush on Hope. Uh, he hasn't t said anything yet because, oh, it's scary, man. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to make fun of. Like, it's scary. Yeah. yeah, so now you can start working on the other side a little bit as well, because I just came down all the way. Yeah, and Parker, um, he's kind of a dick. Uh, you know those people who, like, do pranks and they're like, oh, lol, post it online, you look like an idiot? He's one of them. Ah, uh, the, the prank uh, YouTubers. Yeah, he would have a YouTube channel if he could, yeah. Like, it's just a prank, bro, it's just a prank. And the prank is... Well, like, most of it is just like pranks of, I think, the first one that shows us, that introduces us to Parker. It puts apple cider vinegar in Jeremiah's coffee. Which, yeah, not fun, but not But awful. not, like, not harmful. Yeah. Not super harmful, it's just blech, bad taste. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeremy, he's kind of sad because he's like, I want to ask Hope how, but every time I do, I get scared, or Parker ruins it. Parker and his stupid, dumb, smug face. Um, the first few pages, it's like showing us his work life, him working. Uh, what the fuck? What? Sorry, I like ascended up the rope ladder <laughs> somehow, I didn't even mean to. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite scary. <laughs> Just suddenly get yeah. launched into the sky. All right, there you go, cat. Yeah, like I, I, I stopped and I stood there for a second, like what? And then I just like went up. <laughs> it's like, hold on a minute. Yeah. People hey. don't do that. Hang on. No, hey, wait, wait a bit here. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've got Jeremiah just existing. Um, showing them a bit of the office. Uh, it mentions a few times that Hope and Parker will sometimes go off to test the VR game. Uh, they invited Jeremiah to do it, but he's in a bad mood and he says no. Because the, the time they, they go in, they, um, Jeremiah is about to ask Hope out, but then Parker is there and he's like, okay, never mind. I'm just not going to try because Parker is Parker. He'll make fun of me or some stupid stuff like that. Uh, I'm leaving the top bits for you, Cat, on the platforms. So have fun with that. Really? Uh, then what else is there? Oh, yeah. Parker now pulls another prank where he puts. You know those, like, ser those, like hot chip challenges where it's, like, single chips? Yeah, the really spicy yeah. chips. Yeah, he puts one of them in like a bowl, and Jeremiah has one, and he has like a. He didn't have an allergic reaction to it, but it is pretty extreme, like coughing, spluttering, can't speak, and even Hope's like, "Okay, dude, chill, Parker, what the fuck, chill out." Parker is pretty unremorseful. He doesn't care. He just had a good old gaff, a goofy gaff. So either him or Jeremiah is about to get fucked, <laughs> or both. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so. We cut forward to the next day. Uh, 
Jeremiah went home after the chip incident. He was just sad. And it's his birthday. He shows up to the office kind of bummed out. But they've like they filed presents not presents, they filed balloons and stream was like, Happy birthday it's like, Oh thanks guys and there's no response like, Hey guys, where you at? It goes into the break room and there's a uh what it was. No, it doesn't go into the break room. There's a voice over the speaker, like, hello, uh, Jeremiah, you want to play a game? I've got a fun little game for you. If you don't find your friends within 30 minutes, they will be dead. And Jeremiah's like, okay, Parker, what the hell? This is this is a new low even for you. But he starts going on, like, the voice tells him. Uh, just read this song, said I can't remember properly. There's a specific way of events, so... Damn it. <laughs> okay. I know we would make I would normally make a big deal of this, but there's a specific way that things go. Alright, well you got time to look it over. I am looking respectfully. Okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. See. So, yeah. The voice is like, find your friends or they're dead. And he's like, okay, whatever. Parker, you nerd, you suck. So he's going around. He looks around. God damn it, I just like this. I got it. I got it. Oh, there's more dialogue from Laura, so you'll have to read that in a second. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, I thought there would be more to that. Cool. Okay. That's dope. I'm going to send it to you. She stopped talking. I thought she was going to talk longer. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Running, jumping, cl swimming and climbing, the essential repertoire for an adventurer. Constantly honing my skills is the difference between finding a relic and becoming one myself. Fog. Oh. And I got the things I needed, mostly. Okay. Uh. uh yeah, he's looking around for clues, like, it isn't like an escape room kind of thing. And there's like an anagram. And he goes to the testing room. Uh, and in the testing room, there's a little box. And like, oh, like. Oh, so is this a? Uh, is this some kind of like weird way of ever? It doesn't. I open the box, and inside is teeth. Hang on. You know. Say that a bit louder. That last part. He gets teeth for his birthday PC. Oh. Where? Wait. How did he get the teeth? Where were the teeth? Hold on. You Is like the teeth in, in a little. Okay. Right. You like cut out for a part of that cap. Oh well, that sucks. Okay. So he's looking around for clues, and he gets this anagram, which spells out testing room. So he goes to the testing room. You know the place where they did um, the VR test. So he goes there, and there's a little present. And he opens a little present. And it's full of teeth. Oh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. So he's like, okay kind of weird, but Parker would do this kind of thing, maybe they're fake teeth. So he keeps going. Because uh, he gets another clue that takes him to another room, uh, the copying room. And it goes in there, and there's another box, and he's like, okay Parker, this is kind of weird. Then I look around, can't really see anything. There's just this little jar of paper clips, and there's some paper, and there's a, there's a, there's a stapler. Wait a minute, those aren't paper clips. Those are fingernails! Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Jeremiah, a little bit freaked out at this point, but it's like, it's fine, probably. It, Parker's weird, he would get stuff like this. So he like has a look in the paper clips, and he finds another clue. 
He's like, okay, clue. Um, he goes to the next room. Uh, yeah, he goes to the next room. And on the table is three little eyeballs staring at him. Oh. You know, just some realistic human eyeballs. Jeremiah, a little bit freaked out at the moment. He's like, like huh, that's probably... Like, that's probably a bit harder to get off. Though, the comp the building we're in does have ties to a medical waste company. Maybe Parker just stole some people's eyeballs. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, might have a few problems. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna look and he's like, oh boy, where is things? At oh, home, there's a little bridger over here. Uh, finds the eyes. It's like, okay, fuck, this is getting really weird now. Um, maybe we can stop. It's like, well, no, it's time. You gotta keep going, friend. Time's running out. Your friends are dying. And it, so he books it off. He follows these, like, fairy lights down a room. Um, uh, that's what I'm doing. It's gonna be a lot of checking. Anyway, follows the lights to another room. It's like, oh boy, here's another present for you, Jeremiah. Are you ready for your present? He's like, what the f Surprise, it's fingers. You know, we love fingers. You know, you, that's exactly what you wanted. Right? Fingers, specifically, like a finger that has um, the birthstone, a ring of a birthstone on from the girl you're crushing on. You know that one, Parker? You know that one, Jeremiah? You know that oh. one? Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Jeremiah, a little bit freaked out at this point. He's like, oh, this is like actually serious. Parker, what the fuck? This is fucked up even for you. He's like, tick tock, tick tock, time to go. So he books it onto the next room and there's like a big old box in it. He's like, if you want the key to finding your friends, all you gotta do is reach inside of this box. Ooh, funky dory. He's like, okay, what the hell? So he reaches in and it's guts and organs, basically. You know, it's fine. Hmm. Oh dear. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Are those also the guts and organs of his spine? Oh, well, he didn't exactly see the box. He just like he's feeling around, he's like, oh, that's definitely organs. Oh, that's definitely organs. Hmm. How does he know yeah. what the texture of organs are like? Oh. <laughs> Maybe he worked at a butcher shop. I don't, know. I don't know what he does in his life. So yeah, he sees that and he's like, "Okay, Parker, I have the, th I reach in the guts, I got the thing. So can we end this now?" He's like, "Well, no, you still got to go through a few more rooms. Tick tock, tick tock." Like, what the fuck? Why are you like this? Uh, the girl uses the key, he knocks another room, he's like, well this time it's not so much, well it is a box, but it's not a closed box, it's it's an open box, so, you know, you can see exactly what's inside, and what's inside is someone's face, detached from their body. Ow. You, you, want, you want to take a guess on whose face it is? Probably the girl's, or Parker's, more likely. Yes, it's Parker! Oh, dear. So, uh... <laughs> well, you're like, oh, this isn't Parker doing this anymore. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, even the voice is like, lol, you thought it was Parker, nerd. So at that point, Jeremiah tries to escape. He, like, runs out of the office area. He's like, help. Please, someone fucking help this fucking manager. Uh, and he runs through the cell, but he can't, like, get out. He gets all the way to the bottom. There's an unlocked door. And he opens it, and it's like, ooh, spooky spooky. There's, there's lights, and there's a room uh, with cake, and there's a TV with a video thing. And then a video comes on with Hope and Parker. And they're like, surprise, happy birthday. I bet we really got you good, huh? 
We had a really special surprise. We got a very special friend who's made to meet you. And there's like a door that bangs, like like an actual door in real time, oh. banging. So I'm banging on the door. Then I go, boy. I hope you're ready to meet them, Jeremiah. Let's hope you found us quickly, because we're gonna be fucked up. And then the oh, then I'm the sorry. Wait, ends. what? Yeah. Um. So they even acknowledged, like, oh, you're fr like, I uh, hope you found us in time. Yeah, they are weirdly happy about this while brandishing um, scalpels and knives and the like. Like, whoa, <laughs> we're gonna be dead if you didn't find us soon. And then the the story ends with a door opening. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah. Fascinating. Spooky, 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 spooky. Da, 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 da. I wish I'd remembered that better. <laughs> wow! That's a... Why? That's the help wanted story. That's so <laughs> bizarre. Yeah. Not like a fun, quirky bizarre, just like a what? What? <laughs> what? What? It's just, oh, there's a prankster, and now suddenly he's in an escape room, and oh, all his friends are dying, and they're happy about dying, and then whatever it is that killed them is coming to get him now. Yep. I know it's like implied to be witch trap because like we know the story of help wanted. Yeah, I guess it's like them getting. Why would glitch trap like possess them to do all that and then kill them? Wouldn't they be more useful alive to him? He did. He did it for the laugh. It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. Oh, there's more text. Oh boy. I'll do lace from the next story, cause oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> uh here we go. Um, it I'm actually thinking of making some slight changes to the course to help me learn some new moves. Small hop, army calling, the new super jump I'd like, I'd like to do whilst running. Also practicing flattening myself against walls and putting around corners. So I can monitor power washer's progress while being seen. Cat? Me. Are we being watched? We wouldn't know. <laughs> She's very good at her job, apparently. She is very good at her job. She is Laura Croft, after all. Mm -hmm, Are you ready for kids at play? Alright, let's hear it, I guess. What was his... Name. Is it Joel? I don't think it is Joel. It oh, was Joel! Shit. Sorry! What the fuck? That's such... Actually, while I'm here, I think this. So... Joel. I'm just gonna say it now. He's an asshole. So you can already kind of tell he's dead. where the story is going to go. Uh -huh. He's dead and or suffering. Oh yeah. You have no idea how happy it's going to make you though, let me tell you. So, Joel. He... He's... 18? 17? He's... Oh, uh, he's, he's a little... He's a little shit. Mm -hmm. And Joel... 
works for his dad's gardening, gar uh, not gardening company. Um, nursery is that what they're called? Where the, the plant place? Yeah. yeah. His his dad plant owns nursery. a nursery. Yeah, he owns a nursery. It's a very well successful nursery, uh, and he works for his dad there. But Joel hates it. Uh, he hates the job. He hates his dad. He hates everything because they want him to grow up and do things and not just laze around. They want him to do good school. But, but that cuts into his, his music time, you know? And like, he wants to go off and be a musician. But he needs to work at his father's nursery. Which sucks so bad. I mean, he, he gets paid more. He get he 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 leaves early even though he's not supposed to, but his dad just like what the fuck man. Like his dad like nitpicks at him, but he doesn't like uh, he hasn't done anything. Uh, well, yet because at the start of the story he gets fired <laughs> because he tries to leave early. You like dad? Why do I need to? Why does it matter if I leave early? Like it's just it's just a thing. It's fine. It was like no, you can't just leave early in like a job. You have to. I actually stay in the door. Like, okay, whatever. And he zones out and his dad fires him, like, get out of here. I am sick of you disrespecting me. Go, blah, 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 blah. He's like, okay, whatever. Nerd. Uh, we learn some things about Joel as he's leaving. Uh, he has a truck. It's an old truck. He's upset that it's an old truck. Uh, his dad got him a truck, like he promised. Uh, when I said he'd do it great. He, um, this is one of the few things I remember, so I'm going to say. Uh, Joel's dad made a deal with Joel that if he did well with his with his grades for a year, he would get him a truck. Uh, Joel was like, I don't need to do well, I just need to like get C's. Uh, and then I can still get a decent age truck. So it's like, for every, like, for every uh, grade you get below an A, um, take, uh, I'll add a year on to the uh, truck. Do I say make sense? Like you'd yes. get an older truck. Yeah. yeah. So that happened. And like, he said, like, why didn't you get, like, what happened? You like, we had a deal that you would do good in school and I would get you a truck. And you guys like, yeah, but like, I did the math and I figured like, if I only do well enough to get C's, then I don't need to worry about it too much because I can still get like a five-year-old truck. It's like, oh, really? You're getting a twenty-year-old truck? And Joel is upset about that. Uh, yes, Joel and his truck. Joel has an old truck, and Joel likes to drive very, very fast in his truck. He goes zoom. He skids around the corners. He drives like a maniac. And as he's driving home. He accidentally hits this little plastic figure. Um, I think the more common in the US, it's a little plastic kids at play uh, thing. What? Um, it's this little plastic figure. It's like um, kind of, I guess, sort of like Pillsbury Doughboy. It's like got not many features. It's just a little like neon coloured plastic figure that says kids at play. It's just like, like a, a little people sign. toy. Hmm? Like a little people toy. I don't know. There's a company. Maybe. Called, like, first of all, they make like... a brand of toys called Little People. Because they're tiny people. It sounds familiar. Yeah. So it's not a uh, little, it's quite big. It's, you know, it's like a road sign. Anyway. He runs into that, and it's like, like, ah, oh, shit, I hit a thing. Yeah, it's fine, it's just like a little statue. Uh, the statue is like leaking this gross smelling goo, like you. Anyway, I'm gonna go home. Goes home, his mum is pissed at him. He's like, okay, whatever. He goes up to his room and he plays I wanna his music. I want to take these other boxes because I can't figure out what's wrong with them. Hmm? The, some of the other boxes over there on that one, I can't figure out what the fuck is the dirty part, so I'm just not. Yeah, there's some stuff that's like out of range or what. We've got you, fam. So yeah, Joel, he goes home, and uh, his mum doesn't yell at him, but she's like, just, I'm disappointed in you. He's like, okay. 
Wow. She's like, okay. go to your room. Yeah. It's like, okay. Whatever. Go to your room. So he goes to his room and thinks about how his life sucks. Um. Yeah, it's about to suck even more in just a moment. <laughs> oh. Mmm, dog. I love this dog. Oh my gosh. You don't need to bark at everything. He's gotta tell you when the squirrels bark, cat. Alright, how else would you know? He's blind and deaf, PC. <laughs> But again, when he hears the squirrels fart, he's got to tell you. How? How does he hear the squirrels fart, PC? Because he's a hey. dog, all right? They just do. He's blind and deaf. <laughs> yeah, but it's blind like, and it's like deaf, a sixth PC. sense, all right? You have, you know, hearing, sight, and then grow squirrel farts, cat. Okay, get your sense is straight. <laughs> get oh, my wait, never mind. You can't. Straight. You're gay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got my text for you, cat. <laughs> PC help, PC help, PC help. <laughs> You're having fun over there. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, go ahead and read the text, cat. Oh, I got texts. Yeah, there's text. There you go. Incidentally, I was recommended your services by a mutual friend. Providing viable help on my journeys for a number of years, but now they've gone their way and I've gone mine. I believe they're helping you now, so do say hi. Oh. It's the fucking gnome. No. I doubt it. Also, why would the gnome recommend us when the gnome hates us? It's evil, it works for the mayor cat. Yeah, That's been know. established in the canonical lore. Ooh. Power wash simulator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, is it canonical lore or is it our canonical lore? I'm pretty sure it like it, even in the canon, it's like they're like fucking cameras. Mm. I forget what's our law and what's not our law sometimes. That's fair. So I got like a major leg spike. <laughs> uh, yeah. Joel is complaining about his life. Um, the next day he's like, I, uh, he like half apologizes to his dad and like begs for his job back. Like, I promise I will do better. Pinky promise, definitely. Not crossing my hands under the table. Because he wants to save up money so we can leave. I should have swung this. Right. <laughs> so yeah, he's at work. And he works real hard. Um, it ends up leaving. He actually ends up staying late because he's trying so hard to be a good boy. Uh, okay, so he's trying to do night. better, and his redemption art is about to be cut, and it's prime. That's how this can things go. Say again, sorry. He's a, he's in his redemption art slightly, and he's about to get cut down in his prime because. That's how these stories go. Oh no, he's like, he's only doing it because he's not happy about doing it. And he is still like, he's not like trying to be better, he's just like, I'm doing this so I can get what I want. I, I am not redeeming myself, I am just doing a thing. He's still an I asshole. Uh, which get up there, cat. What are you doing on the side here? This is my part. Get out of here. Well then do it. <laughs> I'm, I am. <laughs> oh my god, you impatient fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can have the underside of the bridge then. Eh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that night, he goes out and he's he's jamming with his friends. He's kind of a dick to them too because it's like, man, why didn't you guys order pizza? Like, why didn't you order the food? Like, oh, so that it wouldn't be cold when the other guy gets here. Like, I don't care. I want food. Like, I. Stop being a dick, bro. Like, whatever, let's just jam out. So they jam out, he complains about his life, and his friend's like, what, dude, you have, like, a great life, what the hell? And he's like, no, it sucks. 
I'm like, okay, whatever, bro. Yeah. So he's going, he goes home, and he's very, he's upset, he's like, grr, didn't understand. And he's zooming, he's going zoom, and he takes a turn, and it goes a bit too fast. And he hits a child! Oh! He hits a child with his car. It happens in slow mo too. Oh, you're this talking like about the, the stupid plastic figures in the road that look like tiny children. No, he's they, an like kids child. that play. No, no, no. The, but the figure before. Yes. You're talking about those stupid plastic things that are like the size of a child that say kids that yeah. play. Yeah. Okay, so he hits an actual child. Shit, man. Yeah, no, he hits an actual child. And he, like, stops and is like, oh god, I just hit a child. Yeah. And he's like, he's Fuck debating you. with himself, like, like, oh, what, but what if the child lies? But I might get in trouble. And if I get in trouble, I can't go on and be an amazing rock star. And so he leaves. What the f- Okay, yep, he gets whatever the fuck he deserves. <laughs> Holy fucking <laughs> shit. What the hell? Yeah, like I said, he wasn't going through his redemption arc. He was just like, I'm being less of a dick. <laughs> I'll, because I'll then it. I'll get my way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, fuck this guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he goes home, and he's like having a crisis, but he's like, I'm not having enough of a crisis to actually do something. <laughs> fun, fun. Yeah, so he goes home. Uh, he he gets up early because he said he would with his dad. They have like a delivery coming in. They go into down. And it's like it's not seem like she's really like, come on, let's go get some donuts. Uh oh. And he's like, Ugh, whatever. He goes to the donut shop. It's like, and Joel goes in to get the donuts. But the donut lady, she's like not out the front. And he's like, hello. Anyone here? And she comes out and she's been crying. He's like, hi, Joel, sorry. It's just, oh, it's horrible. My, my five year old grandson, he's missing. And no one can find him. Oh, and I'm like, oh. No. Okay, bye. <laughs> he goes out and the dad goes in to comfort her while Joel sits in the car. Oh, no. Yeah. Why did the child have to suffer? Jesus. I feel more bad for the child. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, the, the dad's like, okay, we're gonna open for a little bit today, but then uh, we're gonna go out and we're gonna help look for this lady's grandson. He's like, oh, uh, do you think they'll find him, Dad? And he's like, I don't know, but I hope so, son. Uh, so come on, too. let's go to the hard. <laughs> like, so they go to the hardware store. How did they and... wait? How did they not find him at all, though? Wouldn't they have found his body in the middle of the road? See, what happened was when he like. He was like turning the corner, so like he hit the child, and the child, as it describes in the book, went flying into some bushes. Ah. So like, there's not just a child's body sitting in the road. He's like gone. He's like on the side of the road. Yeah, they go to a hardware store. I can't remember why. And Joel goes off to look for something, but he keeps hearing something following him. And at this point. Since he's hit the first uh, child at Playstime, he's been seeing them everywhere. Um, he got some like Faz Crunch cereal for the prize in, and it was a little child to play figure. There's been some of the statues around town, and now there's one following him through the store, and he's freaking out. Excuse me. I would be too. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So, like, they go out and search. So it's almost like the uh, first sign was like a warning, like, hey, you, you do this again, you go too fast again, and you're gonna be bigger consequences. Thing. You're gonna hit you're gonna hit an actual child and he was like, No 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 mm -hmm. no no. And then he hit an actual child and then he was like, Ah, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see uh they go and search but they don't find anything. That night, Joel he wakes up and he's like I can't control my body. <laughs> That's a bit weird. And he like he leaves the house and he starts feeling really weird. Like he starts losing feeling in his arms and his legs. It's like, uh, someone help, I cannot move. But like his lips aren't working. And he's just slowly losing feeling. Slowly losing sight and he knows he's walking somewhere. But he doesn't quite know where. And eventually, he gets to the place where he hit the kid. And at this point, he's like really stiff. He can't feel anything. He can't see anything. He just exists. He can just feel. 
and he like lays down in the grass and it like cuts to black. Switch POV. We're following a police officer and he's patrolling the area. We're looking for the kid because he's still missing. And he hears a whimper. So he goes over and he looks in some bushes. And there, next to a kid's at play sign, is the kid. Alive and well, a bit scared, very cold. But he's alive! The child's alive, PC! A child lived! Whoa! Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. So, the police, the police officer he picks the kid up and he's like, Oh, kiddo, it's okay, you're fine. He looks over at the kids at play sign and he's like, Oh, that's weird. And then they leave. And that's it, end of the story. So, he turned into, like, a kids at play sign and then I guess was used to revive the child? Is he really used? I think so. I really don't- it's very weird. it's weird and it's vague. <laughs> Cause the kid definitely died. There's no way that kid's just been there for like... A day or a day. I mean, I actually know. Yeah, the kid could have been there just for a day and been fine. He could have been. We definitely was her, but like... Oh yeah, the, it's no, weird. the kid it doesn't find that whole time then, and the fact that he left him. Yeah, no, there's a good chance that kid lived then. That's oh god, that's so much worse. Yeah, this. Was... Yeah. But yeah, he turned into a kid's at play sign. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Good. I think I think it's slightly hinted that the one he hit before is also was also a person. It had this sludge in it that he, like, he's like, oh, is that, like, a dead dog? But it's, it doesn't really delve into it very much. He just starts turning into one randomly, and then at the end. Fascinating. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I can't remember what the last one is, because I started to read the book, but I didn't get to the last story, so give me a hot second to finish this tunnel, and I will look. You got time. I'm sad. <laughs> okay, lay it on me. Okay, okay, okay. So this story follows Mary Jo and Amy. Amy is our uh, protagonist. And her friend is Mary Jo. So it starts off with them in at Freby Fabers. Because you know that's where the cool kids hang out. Uh, it's like it's a it's it's sort of like Pete Ticket, where you've got like the really um, oh, outgoing no. friend, and you've got the really. Please like, don't tell me it's gonna end uh, like Pete Ticket. Yeah. Hold up. Oh, it's worse. Oh um, no. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got the really f friendly outgoing friend, and then you got the introvert friend. It can't uh, be any worse than one of the kids killing themselves, can it? Oh, you have no idea. So. So anyway, so yeah, they're eating food for our um, tells us a bit about them, uh, Mary Jo, she's, uh, from a foster family, uh, she keeps a big bag on her of all her possessions, because, you uh, know, oh. she's been to a bunch of different families, yeah, I'm gonna make you feel sad, you're gonna care about this character, PC. Why would you do this to me? Okay, continue. It's not me doing it, it's Furby Faber. Anyway, so yeah, they're eating. And Amy is kind of like questioning her friendship, like, I, we don't really enjoy things. But she's like doing it to herself, like, man, do I want to be friends with this person? We don't really do the same things anymore. And we, she's kind of like loud and obnoxious. But they, they hang around. Uh, and Mary Jo says, hey, let's go play uh, the Freddy Faber hide and seek. It probably has a name, I can't remember it. Is that um, like the, the Shadow Bonnie one? Sort of, but. Kind of, not really. Um, 
how it works is that there's this tunnel system. Like the, uh, it's like a play area, which is a bunch of tunnels, and there's some hiding room there. Right? And how it works is you have player one who goes in and hides, they find a hiding spot, and then you have player two who has a time limit to go around and check a bunch of the hiding spots and see if they can find player one. Is it player two? No, it's find player two. So player two goes and hides. You get the gist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Amy usually likes to be play. Amy likes to be the hider because that means she can just like take a book and she can just chill for a bit and get some alone time. But Mosha's like, nah, you, I'm, I'm always seeking, so you gotta be hide. So you can be the secret one. And Amy's like, okay, fine. So Mary Jo, she goes hides. Uh, then when she, she, she's hidden, she, uh, Amy gets the notification and like a little screen. This is like, uh, like. The shadow boy thing, there's like a little screen that says, Okay, the person's hidden now. You can go look. So Major's hidden, Amy goes in, she goes to look. She's crawling around, she's kind of like regretting her life decisions. But then she hears someone else in there. And there shouldn't be anyone else in there because it's only one person, like two people at a time. But she hears someone, and when she looks around, there's a guy in there. There's a creepy guy in there, and he is crawling around, and he sees her, and he gives her a grin, and Amy's like, nope, 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 fuck that. And she leaves. Oh no. And she leaves Mary Jo. Oh no. Cut forward. Amy is now an adult, and she, she's chilling with her rich best friend, and she's reminiscing, well, sort of reminiscing, and re talking about past regrets, one of them being leaving Mary Jo in the field, because Mary Jo went missing that day. Oh and no. One has seen no. Her since. Whichever way you think this is gonna go, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying that now. Is <laughs> you, she not I don't think... What's... Hang on, wait. And you, I'm gonna say this, you won't expect what's coming out of this. Okay. So yeah. Amy, she's an adult, she's talking with her rich best friend who's like, studying to be a psychologist. And she's like, you know what you need to do, Amy? You need to go to that place, and you need to find closure. You need to go back to that restaurant, you need to find closure on your missing friend, because clearly it's affecting you, and you can't go on with your life if you don't find out what happened to Mary Jo. And she's like, okay, man, I guess, you're the studying to be a psychiatrist, you know what to do. Mm. It might not have been psychiatrist, but you're like, I can't yeah, the words. like psychologist. She's studying men. Yes, that. So, she does. Amy, Amy, she goes back home. She meets up with her parents, like, hey, I'm here. I'm coming to find closure. I'm coming to find out what happened to Mary Jo. And she looks it up. She, like, uh, looks in the local newspaper and finds out that on the day that Mary Jo went missing, the guy that she saw in the in the maze was arrested for being a weirdo uh, uh, there's like um if i remember there was accusations of kidnapping and she's like him i saw him and mary joe were missing so he must have kidnapped mary joe and did something so i'm gonna go find him and confront him and she does she like goes out she like looks up stuff uh, he was recently released from prison. He's like, okay, it's time to go and confront this guy. Uh, so yeah, she goes out to his uh, trailer out in the middle of nowhere, kind of. And she comes like, Why? hey, you dickbag. <laughs> you took my best friend and I want to find her. I'm going to fight you. And it's like, I have no clue what you're talking about. You are insane, lass. It's like, no, I saw you. I know what you did. It's like, no, I... Look, I saw you. Like, I was in that maze. But I wasn't there for you, your stupid friend. I was there to get my daughter back with my wife. When the closer to battle. And she took my wife in the divorce. And David's like, what? No. You're, you're lying. You're a lying liar. And you're wrong. And she, like, punches him. It's like, what the fuck? I'm calling the police for assault, Jesus fucking Christ, you're insane. And he like, 
<laughs> locks her in the trailer while he calls the police. And he's like, ah, oh, shit, I gotta get out of here. So she, like, breaks out. And she goes back to town. He's like, well, fuck. Now what do I do? That guy was a bust. Who is making rope noises? Anyway. Oh. So, it... hmm? Yeah. You made rope noises. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She goes back to town. And she like tries to look where the original phrase was, but it's a different building now. It's like a... Like, I guess ranch themed? Because they have like a cow mascot. And the, the waitress that serves Amy has like a cow print and bull horns. And she's like, hi, hey, yeah, I'm just gonna order some food. And then she like sneaks around backstage trying to figure out stuff. And she finds in the back of a supply closet, she finds a hatch that's just sort of been closed off. And she realizes this is the same hatch that would have led to the hide and seek game. Like, this is where. You Mary Jo was last seen, there has to be clues in here. I am lagging. Yeah. Am I- am I un- am I intelligible? Am I- uh, am I you're intelligible now. You weren't a few moments ago. What was the last thing I said? Uh, something about the hatch leading to the hide and seek game. Okay, yeah, that's right. So she goes- it's like, okay, this is the last place Mary Jo was seen. So I have oh, to go in- Oh, by the in, way, there was- uh, there was a fucking- there was text message. I was gonna interrupt you about that. That happened a while ago. I sent it to you in DMs. Could you read through that real quick? Mm -hmm. This shit's so fucking TV. Okay. <clears throat> it's funny, it is. I must admit a twinge of it must admit to a twinge of guilt every time I see the quad bike. I must have driven Winston round the bend with my perpetual tire marks of the manor. I wrote it everywhere. I even got it onto the roof on one occasion. As you do. Just casual British things. So, 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 so. So she's investigating. Yeah, she goes into the thing and she's like, okay, I'm investigating now. There's got to be a clue to Mary Jo somewhere. She goes in. And it is, like, it's barely been touched. There's dust everywhere. There's still, like, food scraps because kids are messy as shit. Okay, um, so yeah, she's crawling around, and sh before she goes in, the little screen that said, um, that, you know, like I said, the thing that like, shows the thing, it's still working, and it's, like, it still says fine player 2. It's like, oh my god, did, did they get, did they never, like, reset the game? It's like, she fills with her a bit, and then she's like, so she fills with her a bit. And then it start, restarts the game, so she can go into the tunnels. She just starts crawling around. And at one point, she goes into one of the little hidey holes. And it closes behind her. Now oh. this is bad. Because it can't be opened from the inside. It can only be opened from the outside by a seeker. But no one knows she's in there. Oh. You wanna know the cherry on top, PC? What? When she looks around inside this little hidey hole, she finds a corpse. Oh no! She finds the mummified corpse of Mary Jo hugging onto her bag. Oh. 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 <laughs> I told you this is worse than Pizza Kit. <laughs> And that's Find Player 2, in the end of the canonical, quote unquote, canonical... You're telling me they didn't look right. through that entire place at all? They just closed it off, apparently. <laughs> Jesus. Aw, oh, poor girl. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> How dare you make me feel for these characters? 
I have to feel for them, you get to feel for them. How dare you do this to me? How do you think I feel reading this shit, man? I'm like, oh no, it's real life purple guy, but no, it's just sadness and loneliness and being dying alone. I genuinely feel sad yeah. about this child, too. <laughs> oh, God, and I thought I was an asshole to my kids. Oh, I found it. It's this thing. Uh. There we go. Yay. All right, time lapse time. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> you just see me numing over it. In the <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's happening in D&D land? I go zoom. All right, cat. You 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 ready for the the ending message? Yeah. <clears throat> I can't express how good it is to find someone who works with such exacting standards. I can throw myself into my new trending stream of confidence. I think every grab and landing will be true. Many thanks, Laura. And there is a jeep and a motorboat next. Oh but boy. that's for the next episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna go cry for a little bit, because holy shit. <laughs> I hope y'all have a positive <laughs> day and TTFN. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.